everyone welcome back to my channel I am so excited that it's finally spring I have been doing some shopping for my kids getting ready for the springtime I have five children three boys and two girls most of the clothes I bought recently are for my oldest daughter and my oldest son my next two have some hand-me-downs but I also bought them a few new things and then my youngest baby Wesley I did need a few things for him because I got rid of most of my baby clothes before he came along so I'm gonna show you everything that I picked up I shopped at Carter's for the most part that's where most of my stuff is from I also went to Once Upon a Child I did Once Upon a Child for my baby because often I like to buy new clothes but if it's a baby under about two. I find that secondhand can be really good. After that, I find it harder to find what I want um, secondhand, but I bought most of my baby's clothes at Once Upon a Child. I also got a few things from Children's Place and a few things from Sport Check. Um, not a few things, I got two athletic shirts for my boys from Sport Check. So why don't I first start with um, the two athletic tops I got. Um, here they are. So the two athletic tops I bought, um, they're a little bit pricier than your normal t-shirts, although really not much because I got these two tees for, um, on clearance for $10, and my boys will wear these all the time. So my younger son, I got him this one, an Under Armour t-shirt, and then my older son, I got him this Nike t-shirt. So I just went through and looked, like, what can I find for about $10 that's on clearance, and um, those are really good prices for those brands. Then I went to Carter's and um, they had their door crasher sale. So I shopped online, bought them a bunch of stuff. I did have to go back in and exchange a few things because for some reason, I always think my kids are going to have grown more than they did. <laughs> so I thought my son who's turning nine this year would be around size eight by now. No, nope, he, the eights are huge on him. So he, I had to go back and exchange some of his clothes for a size seven. Um, same thing with my son who is five and a half. I thought maybe he'd fit into a six. No, nope, he's still in a five. So I had to go exchange a few items, but I have them not organized at all by whose clothes they are. It's just all in a pile, all from Carter's. So I'm just gonna go through and quickly show you everything I got. So my older son, I got him these pair of shorts. He loves comfy clothes, but these ones are a nice fit. Sometimes shorts can be really frumpy looking. I try to find the ones that are more fitted, especially since my boys, all my kids are quite slim. Um, and then my son, older son also needed a new hoodie. And so it's always nice to have hoodies um, for the summertime all year long. So I thought this was a really nice color that will look really good on him. Um, he also, I got him this um, Henley. He can wear this for church. It's a little bit big, but um, it's a size 8, but it's really nice. I like the, the button-up and the pocket. It just looks nice for if he's just playing outside, but it also could work for like um, a little bit more dressy events. And then I got um, my littlest one a hat. I like their little bucket hats that are reversible. So I was trying to decide, should I get him three to nine months or 12 to 24 months? Cause his birthday is October. He'll be one. Um, but if I have to buy him another one before the end of the summer, that's okay. But I think for the springtime and early summer, this one will be a perfect fit. And then I also got my daughter a hat. She hated giving it back to me because I let her try it on. And then I said, give it to me. I'm going to put it away to the summer. But she was loving wearing this hat. Again, it's reversible. It has this unicorn and... Um, little pattern side and then it also has this striped side really really cute I love these big big hats for little girls then my oldest daughter I got her this two pack of dresses so I got her this red floral dress and then um, like I said it was a two pack so it also came with um, this navy blue and white striped dress and it's a nice length too she tried it on and it's just below the knee um some dresses i find are so short like old navy all their dresses are so short it's hard finding dresses that are i don't know an appropriate length for girls especially as they're running around and playing and um anyways those ones are nice i also got her this pair of capri leggings with cute little hearts on the side my younger son simeon i also got him these blue shorts that i got my older son those look so cute and so comfy and then for Wesley, my little baby, they had this one one piece on um, on sale. And I love little one pieces for both the winter and for the summer. And it's a cute little dinosaur head there. One piece with snaps on the bottom. Um, and that was on sale for $5.99. 
And then, let's see, I let each of the kids pick out their own t-shirt as well. I let them, I, I mostly picked out, but I let them each pick out one thing for themselves. So my daughter picked this gymnast power shirt. My younger daughter wanted an ice cream shirt, so she chose this one. I melt my daddy's heart. Isn't that so cute? She wanted the ice cream one, but I loved the little message on it too. And then my sons both picked this little um, police t-shirt. So I got two of those, one in size seven and one in size five, because I found out that's what size they are. I also wanted to get my five-year-old son this one because it fits him absolutely perfectly. I love that, always hangry. Um, he has such a hard time waiting for meals. He's, he's always hungry. Um, and then I also got my boys this, this, this uh, tank. They love um, wearing sleeveless shirts in the summer and I really like the colors that are on this one. So one for each of the boys. And then for Charity, my seven-year-old, I also got her this shirt. I love the detail on some of their girls' clothes. I think they're just so pretty. So that's the pattern, has a pocket in the front, and then this back detail is just super, super cute. And then I also got her this little two-piece like mix and match set. So it's this like spaghetti strap flowy top, and then it comes with these little shorts. So. That'll be one of her summer outfits, and that is all that I got from Carter's. From Children's Place, um, I got my oldest son a little athletic outfit, so I got him these red and black shorts, and then a baseball tank, again, just this athletic material that he loves. He tried on this, and it's a little bit big on him, but... We'll see. Maybe it'll shrink a little bit in the wash and it'll fit him okay because I did buy him a size bigger in the shirt than I did in the shorts because that's usually how he, how the clothes work for him. But I forgot that Children's Place clothes are a bit bigger than Carter's, so the size 7 to 8 is pretty big on him still, but we'll see. If not, he can hopefully wear it next summer. And then another thing I like to buy from Children's Place are their little cartwheel shorts because I always like my girls to wear little shorts under their dresses. So I got Charity a white pair and a gray pair and then I got Zara a light pink pair um, and a white pair. I feel like they're not really seeing that color but yeah, it's a light pink. So that is all I got from Children's Place. Then I went to Once Upon a Child. Okay, these aren't clothing, but I did get a couple little sand toys. I got the kids these little um, watering cans. They are a sturdy, really, really good quality watering can. Like I think these will last forever as long as we don't lose them. They are by, are they by Hape? Yeah, they're by Hape. And then um, last year I bought each of the kids one of these shovels. These are brand new. They're at Once Upon a Child, but they're in their brand new section. These sand scoops are, again, amazing quality. Like, you can't break that. I used to go to um, the dollar store and buy them, but then I found, you know what, it's worth it to buy the better quality one. So I bought four of these last year. We lost the green one, so I just replaced bought a new green one. Um, one thing I'm on the lookout for, if you guys know where I can find this, I really want to find them good quality um, sand pails as well. You can get those cheap ones, but they always break, and I'd really like to get some good quality ones. So I don't know if Hape sells them, or Melissa and Doug, or some other company, if you know of somewhere that sells real hardcore, um, good quality sand buckets, let me know because I want to buy some of those before the summer and just the beach and um, the park. For clothes at Once Upon a Child, like I said, mostly what I bought was stuff for Wesley, my almost six month old. So I got him one little one piece, um, one dressy outfit. Um, this was $3.50. Um, at Once Upon a Child, I totally recognize it, like I'm sure a little boy at our church before has had this exact outfit because I feel like it looks so familiar. Anyway, so that's for Wesley. I also got him this one. Like I said, I love the little one-piece outfits on little ones. It's just super, super easy. I also got him this one, which is kind of, it can be casual or I would put him in that for church too. It's not, it's a little bit more um, nice looking with the buttons on the front and it was $4.50 and this one is from Gap. And then I also got him some onesies. So there's one onesie. This kind of reminds me of the boys' shirts from Carter's with the stripes on the top. Um, a little, just onesies, just to wear underneath his um, pajamas or with shorts or whatever. I got him a couple more onesies here. So these onesies were all just 150 so 
pretty good price for those. I also found Wesley two little pairs of shorts at Once Upon a Child, so these little navy blue ones, look how tiny those are. Um, those ones were $3.50, and then I also found these ones that were um, $5.50. These ones are from Carter's. I kind of have mixed feelings, you know, buying um, things secondhand, because even seeing these shorts there, like, they are they are um, in very good condition, um, but $5.50 for, for a pair of shorts um, with the door crasher sale at Carter's, they actually had two pack packages, two pair packages of shorts, these like exact same ones, and they were $12. So $6 a pair instead of $5.50 a pair. So sometimes secondhand isn't cheaper, but um, I don't know. That was about the same price as if I bought them new, but that's okay. Um, a lot of the things were cheaper than if I bought them new. Like I've told you guys many times is if you can shop ahead, if you can shop clearance, you can get better prices um, than secondhand. But Wesley was born in October and we didn't know his gender before he was born, so I couldn't shop ahead and buy him um, clothes at the end of summer because by the time he was born October, by the time I went out, of course, um, after he was born, summer clothes were all sold out. But um, if I could have shopped earlier, I, I'm sure I could have bought better deals at Carter's or at Old Navy um, or Children's Place on clearance than some of these secondhand prices, but that's okay. Um, and then for charity, I bought her this last item. Um, I like my girls to wear shorts that are a little longer than like little mini shorts. I like them to wear like um, midi shorts or Bermuda shorts. And when I look at those in store, they're always like 20 bucks for a pair of shorts. So I thought I wanna look at Once Upon a Child and I found these ones for 550. Um, they're denim, but they are like a jagging kind of like waist, a nice comfy um, elastic waist. And so those will work with a lot of her shirt a lot of her summer t-shirts. I think, it's hard to tell, these are probably almost her Bermuda length um, for her, and of course 550 is much better than the 17 to 20 dollars I was finding Bermuda shorts at, um, brand new. So that's it. I don't know if that's everything I'm gonna buy for them. I'm sure once we pull out the rest of their stuff, we'll find out, you know, somebody needs new sandals, and somebody needs um, new church shoes, and somebody needs, I'm sure there'll be more, <laughs> but just this week I did buy all of this stuff to get us a little bit of a head start on spring. I'm hoping to keep to a little bit more of a minimal outfit, minimal wardrobe for each of our kids this summer, so We'll see how that goes. And of course, I do have lots of hand-me-downs and stuff too. I don't wanna have too much, but I wanna have enough. So, trying to find that balance. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.